Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria Smithsoni, where in this video I'm going to share with you some things that I've been up to. Real quick, um, let me start with the bottom here. This piece is just basically a glued, <laughs> you know, I just collaged random pieces from uh, my scrap bag. And also I, in the middle I started with some of the things I got from my last Happy Mail uh, video that you saw. This is one of the napkins, so are these pieces of the napkins. That's a piece of the dictionary page, page. and then I glued, um, some of these are pieces of wallpaper, uh, but these are just all scraps left over from, you know, other things that I've done, and uh, like that little butterfly is, uh, was broken on the bottom, so I just put it there and covered that with something else, and after I finished pretty much covering the uh, background paper, I took a stamp and I just randomly stamped around it. So I like how it came out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. But I also did the same thing. And, and this background paper was just a page from the wallpaper sample book. You know, not wallpaper, but just a page from it. And um, so it's very sturdy. So this will be a nice cover or something. Maybe cut it into tags. I'm not sure yet. Some of these need to be glued down a little bit better, but that's all right. So I also did the same thing on a, the back of a, an actual piece of wallpaper, and this is how it turned out. Now, I've actually already turned it into a book, but see, here's the wallpaper, kind of just a plain one. So I collaged on the back, and then um, I did an additional layer of napkin. So that is the like the white part of the napkin, like when you peel off. You know, like the decorative nap and you peel it off the white part. I layered it on top of the collage to kind of tone it down a little bit. And I actually got the idea. I have to give credit. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but um, my friend Laura had sent me some Happy Mail a while back. And she included some stuff that she had made, including this lovely little journal, which is kind of like a flow journal. And because uh, these envelopes are tied in here and there's a lot of stuff that I can use in here. But I love how she did her cover. Looks like she collaged magazine pages, but then she layered them over with napkin. At least that's what I think it is, Laura. If I'm wrong, let me know. But when I looked at it, I said, oh, that's, that's that white part of the napkin. And I really like how it just kind of not only toned it down, but it held the pieces together. Because like as you can see on this one, some of them like are thicker, like the wallpaper. Some of them are not quite you know glued all the way down and stuff and I thought oh well the layer of napkin will just kind of hold it all down so so um, it looks like I'm gonna have to actually go back and go over maybe I actually used glue stick it looks like I'll have to go over with maybe Mod Podge to seal it even better but I'm impatient and I just had the idea to make this book with it and I just had to run with it so um, I can always go back and <laughs> fix it. But um, so what I did is um, I made a little book cover out of it. And I love it because it's soft, but it's sturdy. And the pages in this book are the painty pages that I did a while back. I wasn't sure how I was going to use them, but as I looked at them and folded them in half, I really liked how they looked like it could be pages in a book. So that's what I put in here. And the, what I did is... The pages were actually, um, you know, those Reader's Digest books? I had gutted one, and I had all these pages. So what I did is I glued four of them together and, and to form a big page, and that's what I played with, you know, when I did my painty papers. And this is acrylic and some watercolor. So I, I did a few of those. Um, check out my video to see, you know, where I originally shared that. But... Um, I wanted, I had about, what, 11, 8, I don't remember how many pages I had, but in any case, I thought I wanted the book to have, you know, a few more pages than that, so what I did is I glued some more together, and I did every other, you know, a painty paper and every other just a plain paper, and what I want to use this book for is to just kind of play in, to test out my stamps, to maybe do some more painting, trying out painting, and uh, maybe gluing down some of the napkins that I like. Actually, I did do that already in here. Is it in here? One of those little doggy napkins I glued in here to just keep it. So I thought, well, maybe kind of like a glue book, but not, not really just a glue book, but kind of like a, maybe a book where I try stuff out. So what do you call it? An experimentation book or something like that? 
Oh, I bet I put in my dogs upside down. I bet you anything that's what I did. It's probably, yep, sure enough, it's upside down. <laughs> so when I put this, I bound it upside down. But that's okay. Like I said, this is just a book to play in. So I have that one napkin upside down. Oh, yeah. oh that's so annoying. So I don't know. Where is it again? Where is it again? I just saw it. Yep, right here. Yeah, so that's one of the napkins. So I just wanted to see how, you know, it looked glued on top of a painty paper. And, um, yeah, you can't really see the, the text through it since the paint is already covering it. But it's kind of neat. I like how it feels. So, uh, yeah, again, it's just playing. So, so that's what I did with my painty papers. I know at least one or maybe a couple of people asked, well, let us know what you're going to do with them when you finally decide to use them. And this is what I decided to do with them. Just turn them into a book to play in. And I'm really excited about this. Um, now, another first for this book is this is the first time I have bound with five holes. So I wanted it to be nice and sturdy. And I like that the cover was going to be sturdy because of the wallpaper and the collage. So I actually made, um, I didn't even measure what I did uh, or with a ruler. I, I made my hole in the middle right on top of the, you know, where these pages crisscross. That was easy to tell the middle. And then I just kind of put a couple of fingers and put a hole there, a couple of fingers there, a couple of fingers there. And I made five holes and I did, you know, the, the blanket stitch with the five holes. And I really like how it came out. It feels a lot sturdier than when you just do three holes. I mean, that makes sense, but I really like it. I think I may just use that from now on for binding my books so and then um, I originally had just this this much of the string hanging out here and I decided I wanted the, the string to wrap around so I just added a couple of strings and did kind of like a macrame just a regular square knot until I got to the point where the original strings were covered and then I just braided the rest I mean I could have square knotted it too but uh, it would have taken a long time and I'm impatient did I mention that <laughs> So I just braided the rest of it. I may add some beads or something at the bottom. Haven't done that yet. I also left these strings loose in here. And I think this is called a blanket stitch also for the um, embroidery type there. Um, but I left these loose because I thought maybe I might want to hang a charm or a bead or something from those as well. Don't know. And actually this, I went straight through and I added this kind of dangly one. So, um, yeah, there you go. So I'm really happy with this book, and I'm going to really enjoy playing with it. I plan on like stamping in it and putting my napkins in it and then just painting in it, just basically playing in it, you know? So uh, there's that. So I've shown you these couple of things. Let me also show you some of the other things I've been grabbing to make really quick as I've had a few minutes. So I have a stack, like I said, of these um, pages that I put together. These are just two put together and then also some music pages. And I just want, really wanted to play with some napkin to see how it shows with the music page behind. So basically I just took some of the napkins that I had and just glued on top of the music paper. And what I intend to do with these is use them in other projects like in uh, ta mainly tags and things like that. I love this one. This is such a beautiful napkin. And look how the music looks when it comes through there. This one's also beautiful. Love that one. And this one. They're all pretty. And I really like how the music shows through on there. Uh, had a couple more. Yeah. Out of order. This again from the one that I got last night. I did that one last night. And that was uh, one I got a while back. This one, I was going to do another one. I think the doggy one up there. And I hadn't removed one of the backings. So I just got the white. And I thought, huh, that's interesting. I might be able to use that that way as well. So I just left it. This other one does show through nicely. Then um, a couple of weeks ago, weekends ago, I uh, went over to my in-laws. And I just brought some of these pages with me. Um, and I put together you know, some pairs, and I also brought my little um, box of images, and I just started gluing together some of these images that I really didn't have a plan for, and I left it blank, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, I just felt like gluing, 
So I just glued a whole bunch of them down. Some of these uh, type of images I've used in like just some plain greeting cards before. And um, I, I really like doing that. Just, you know, plain, literally just sticking an image on a card and that was it. Because I just thought they were so beautiful in their own. But these are ones I hadn't used yet and I wasn't sure. Some of them were maybe too big or a little awkward or, you know. I really love this one, the little curl. And some of them were magazine pages. Oh, look, I cut that image more than once. And I'll probably cut it again because I really like it. So basically what I tried to do with these is just cover the page. And... Again, I may cut it into tags. I may just leave them like that. Maybe put them in a book. I don't know. It was just gluing. And I really didn't stick too much to a theme. Like for this one, when I saw the airplane and the bags, I thought, oh, let's see if I can find other travel-related, you know, pictures. And obviously this is part from, of the same story. This is actually from a different book, but it kind of went together, so I did that. But these are really not... I mean, that's the same car, but it's not necessarily part of the same story. I just glued them as I felt like it, you know. Mainly, I was just trying to find the sizes that would cover the page, like that would cover the text. So, there you go. So, those are a few of the little things that I've been doing when I've had a couple of minutes here and there to work. Uh, last night, I had a nice chunk of time while we watched the movie. Um, after going to the Easter Vigil Mass, uh, we came home and we were kind of wired. So I ended up doing, you know, the first things I show you, these, this big painty paper and the book. And the book actually finished it this morning. So I wanted to share it with you right away. And if you'll notice, the stamp I used for this was this coffee one. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Again, just a quick little share of what I've been up to recently. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you like best. And uh, if you have any suggestions for me on how I could use these pages or anything, <laughs> I'd really love to hear from you. Uh, if you're watching me today, it is Easter Sunday um, in 2019. So I wish you a very happy Easter. Very blessed time with your family. Bye-bye.